Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zay4! Howdy! And welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at The Legend of Robin Hood, created by Paul Paulo Cartman. And here they say, based on the legend of Robin Hood. That's it. No preference. <laughs> Park works day and night. And now I'm going, what do I do with all this B-roll? I guess we just we just hang here for a bit. So how's everybody doing today? This is the park, as you can see in front of you. So stay tuned and let's take a closer look. Okay, welcome back everybody. And uh, welcome back to the show, Zayfort. It's been a minute. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's not a long it, introduction, but no. I think everyone Everyone pretty much knows the story of Robin Hood, so you don't need a whole lot to set it up, I guess. No. We should be in Sherwood Forest. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Z uh, Z4 is uh, definitely one of our moderators. All the Discord members are going to know, but the viewers don't. Z4 helps with all the contest forms, everything behind the scenes. So uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you for everything you do, Z4. Uh, that just means anything that goes wrong, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> But nothing ever goes wrong, so you're good. <laughs> he does a good job. But, uh, yeah, he's been on the show before. It's just been a while, but me, me and you talk practically every other day, so... Uh, it's nothing new for us, sitting here hanging out, looking at Planko stuff. But That should be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Legend of Robin Hood. It's, it's been a while. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. That's basically the gist of it, right? Yep, yep, yep. We should have a sheriff of Nottingham and... Uh... Robin Hood and his merry men. Mm -hmm. I think the 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 BMM, the inverted coasters, supposed to be your Robin Hood. Okay. In this scenario, also we've also got this little castle, which I'm guessing should be the uh, the sheriff's castle. The little the little mouse coaster on it, which looks kind of cute. What's going in? Oh, we got some booby traps outside. Watch your step. And in the queue. Don't stick your hands out. Is this gonna be a flat ride or a coaster? It looks like a flat ride. One thing I've been kind of doing, messing around with the uh, mini park contest, has been going on the uh, flat rides because people put all this time into making these skins, but the skins oh, yeah. make it extremely hard to click. Oh right. Well, this one's called Little John. Little I'm not John. sure. Why. I'm not sure why it's named after Little John, but. Yeah, so yeah, basically all this effort's gone into the uh, ride skins, the uh, surrounding area. It is a mini park, so we get a nice view. I'd say uh, the, these rides particularly end up a lot better than the ones we see in other park spotlights. Because uh, sometimes people aren't really required to make a skin. Yeah, and you get a nice view of the rest of the little mini park area as well. Exactly. Whereas in yeah. other parks, it might just get lost in the endlessness, and it's it's rare we even have a good frame rate. We can barely ride the coasters, yet alone the rides. That's very true. And also, with that said, most parks we go to, there's already too many coasters that take up the full episode. <laughs> right? <laughs> 17 coasters Absolutely. later in an hour and a half. Yeah, no room for the flat rides. No. So here, it does work. Yeah. So there it is. There's a view of the park there. We can see a castle in the back, a coaster. Yeah. Whoa! I think we're good there. Yeah. Little, Little John, John is quite big. Yeah. He traditionally uses uh, like a staff as a weapon. So maybe that's kind of where they're going with this ride. Because it sort of looks like a big stick. <laughs> I don't know how you remember all these things. I mean, English. I had, knowing the story of Robin Hood is like requirement. <laughs> I learned the story when I was like six years old and forgot. So I, I don't know. I guess I've wiped every all pop culture out of my memory. I just don't know anything anymore. <laughs> you, you've never seen the movie with uh, what's his name, um, Dennis Costner? No, that's not right. A, a most a recent one. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. No, I don't think so. Actually, uh, it's it's kind of funny because he obviously plays an Englishman with a very American accent. I've seen all the old Robin Hood ones. I, I can't remember, like, their, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, Fairy Tale Theater or something? Those old shows? I think I'm it's called sure. Fairy Tale Theater. Okay. Disney make, made a cartoon about it, too. Yeah, it was like I watched the Disney one as well. 
Okay, th this ride skin's a little, uh, interesting. It's just a house. Did you ever see the, uh, the Mel Brooks one? The, uh, the spoof? No. Yeah. Men in tights. Oh, that was hilarious. My oh, sister maybe. and I would watch that over and over again as kids. Okay, this one's no good to ride. There's a, there's a there's a great line in it where the the int the opening of the movie is basically the uh, the sheriff's men attacking a town because they're like refusing to pay their taxes or whatever, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and the villagers all get together and uh, and start screaming at the camera. How come every time a uh, Robin Hood movie starts, they have to burn down our village? <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the open roof on this kind of makes me think think of that line. If they put some like fire on the roof okay. to make it seem like like the the house had been destroyed, I think that would have fit in well. <laughs> right, right. Okay, I was wondering where you're going with that. We're bringing <laughs> it all back around. There we go. This is a cozy little uh, hut. They got a ton of flat rides in here. They really made the most use of that out of the space. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, Scarlet's Twist. I remember when I was younger, I went on one of these, and it was raining, and uh, we were so <laughs> small, we were actually slipping out. And, oh, really? Yeah, we were just terrified because we didn't think we were uh, we were gonna slip right out. It was uh, pretty. Uh, Pretty terrifying. Just slipping out of the bar, you couldn't hold onto the bar because it was slippery. My God, what a nightmare! And after that, we didn't even go on any more rides. We were so scared. Nice. And it was like one Wait. of those days where my aunt dropped us off. She's like, "Go have fun." So like, <laughs> we didn't even have adult supervision. <laughs> we were just like, "What do we do now?" We just. We just sat on the benches for the rest of the day until my pet came back. Terrified oh. to go on anything. Yeah. Wow, that's an interesting sign. I saw rodents. Are you guys coming with us? No. Nope. They, they saw Johnny <laughs> and turned around. I think they saw the line and turned around fast. Okay, I, I've rodent, ridden, rodent, <laughs> very few of these. Uh, the the mild, wild mouse hunt. It's a, yeah, yeah. A little bit different. One of the newer rides, I guess, that was added in the DLC. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a look at the stats and our first coaster of the day, of the park. Is there two coasters in this park? Wait, well, where is yes. the one in the station? It's this, this ride's a little funky because you actually get like three cars that are chained together as a train. Oh, so it's a seat that yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. for. Yeah, so you're actually in one of the later cars that hasn't arrived at the station yet, I guess. Weird. I've never noticed that because I usually close them down. Yeah. So this is the seat three of train two. Right. Wow. <laughs> okay. There you go. Let's check it out. It just zips along. Okay, I see how that works now. Yeah. Whee! Yeah. We should get some good laterals, some sharp turns, some feeling uh, like you're gonna fly off the edge. They have one of these in Playland, and I will never go on it again. It's so rickety, <laughs> and it feels like and you're so high up, you feel right. like you are going to die, and it just yeah. turns on you so rapidly. Um, yeah. I think they ended up taking it down because they thought it was too dangerous. I don't know. I haven't been there in such a long time. I just remember getting every year going back there and it just looked even worse condition than the last. <laughs> they just don't feel safe, do they? Well, that's kind of the point, but yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you can still make it thrilling and make me feel safe. It's, it's pretty much like the perfect date night coaster where you, you, you know, sit side by side with your date and she's always like flying into you. Yeah, but except for it's me clawing into her. Get me <laughs> ominous thing. 
<laughs> yeah, if you're if you're the one terrified and it's your date trying to, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, and maybe it doesn't work so well. It's a good way to lose a date. So that's the fourth ride. Not much of a skin here, but hey, you went for four. Actually, they've got at least five in here. Right. Well, we've seen four so far. Okay. Right. I think you skipped the bumper cars. Oh, that would be. Yeah, no, I saw it. I looked at it. Maybe. Okay, that's just a bathroom. Okay, we've right. reached the edge of the park, but there was the uh, inverted coaster from what it looked like, right? And that's the, like the main, the main attraction there. Mm-hmm. They've also got a, a Wicked Twister style shuttle invert. There's that first flat ride. Yeah. What did they call this one? And a Marion the, swing. There's the carousel. So that would be number five. Or no, that's the swing set. Okay, that's the exit to the coaster. So the, the queue must be on the other side. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. I think it's got Robin quite a long Hood. queue that goes all over the place. Okay, well, maybe we won't fast pass it today. And we'll just check out the scenery. See what they did with their path work here. Nice little gardens. I like, yeah, I like the long meandering queue. The one thing I would recommend for the future is um, sort of making it the adding scenery to the the paths to make them seem like they're not just floating everywhere. Yeah, and maybe add a little bit of that theming, like maybe have there, there's like those Robin Hood animatronics. You can have mm -hmm. them poking about. Okay. Like making like, I like, like this bridges. entrance way. Mm -hmm. Making some bridges out of like out of scenery and uh, theming sort of helps ties it together. So it doesn't look. It kind of like reminds me of the old RCT, where it's just like paths <laughs> floating everywhere yeah. on top of each other. Not the, used to not do the back in the day. Okay. I love the way that coaster is intertwined with everything. Woo! We're going. We're off. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I didn't... That is that a sixth flat ride? Yeah. We, we said maximum five disqualified in the video. <laughs> Did we? I think so. It's fine. <laughs> I think that was a more of a variable roll. Whoa! I like this layout. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a couple brushes there. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. Other than yeah, that yeah, yeah. radical spin, everything else was really, really nice. Yeah, it was a very fun coaster. Uh, there's, you know, a couple places where it definitely could be tweaked and improved on, like this, the smoothing and, but other, but for like especially for a newer creator, this is a really, really good bit. Yeah, coaster. it flowed really nicely. Wow. The uh, scenery was great. Like the way we were weaving in and out of the rocks, it had that exploration feel. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yep. I, one, one of my one of the better coasters I've seen throughout the, my recordings so far. I really like that. I guess I'm lucky it's the first one I've seen so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we didn't see this guy. Oh wait, there's a boomerang too. Yeah, that's the the shuttle. Oh holy moly! Oh, you got a whole little underground area here. The I like the I waterfall. Like, I like how you turned into it into a tree top. Waterfall. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, um, by the invert. Underground. Oh, of course. It's, it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. looking out down here. Yeah, uh, we didn't I even, it, we, we walked the, the whole park, we didn't see a way down here. I guess this is like their secret hideout. Oh no, this is Evil Sheriff is the name of the coaster. Hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be the dungeons. That makes sense. We're, we're skipping Q. You can see it there. I'm, I, I really want to find my way out of here from the way we were supposed to come in, though. These, uh, this... it's right... Oh, it's... There we go. It says Forest Crypt. <clears throat> I 
do with these coasters you really got to focus on the view at least we got the treetop there really cool look, view of the cave and all the mist in here the waterfall so i think you i think you know, you worked with what you had uh we're on the edge of the park almost but we still have some scenery so you made it work If, if, if we're giving bonus points out for cramming the most stuff into a park, they definitely deserve a shout out. Absolutely. So this would take you away from the coaster, but how are these people getting down? It's uh, right near the entrance, if from like the, the very entrance of the, uh, park? the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you make a, a quick left. Ah, oh, I did walk and, pi past that, didn't I? Yeah, and you see this sign that says far as Crip and then go down. Oh. Okay. Um... Whew. There it all is. I don't think we missed anything. We hit it all. Any uh, final thoughts? What are your overall impressions of this first creation that you've seen? Um, I really like it. I mean, um, I, I like the integration of everything. I, it feels like a, a themed land. Some of the, the theming is a little on the generic side, like the, the castles and stuff. It's so, Sometimes it's easy just to throw down the castle pieces and then it's like, oh, here's a castle. It just seems like everybody else's castle without yeah. making it like unique. So that's one area that I would look to improve on. But other than that, yeah, that's no, great. I, I uh, To add to that, I always say castles are really tricky to do in Planet Coaster because you fall into the pitfall of it looking mm -hmm. so generic. When I was new to Planet Coaster, I started building castles and they looked so generic that I literally got rid like I just went to made something else. I did right. eventually make that icy castle. I think I have it. For, for the Yeti land? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. You always want to break it up with like oh, different sorry. pieces, different sort of scenery and just sort of like make it unique. But mine was just a boarding station. And, right, right, right. And, and I, I, even beyond that, it's it's pretty basic, to be honest. What I did mm. differently is just covered it in snow, crystals, and lights. It looks better at nighttime than it does at daytime. But right. <clears throat> um, when I was going about building that, you end up getting these generic pieces that look very boring. So as a, as almost like a, as a word of advice for new builders, if you're tackling the castles, you will struggle. So you might want to get some reference or play around with the pieces for a while and know that you're in for quite the task if you want to pull it off and make it look interesting. Otherwise, it will just look like a standard build. Uh, yeah, it's, it's usually best to sort of like go castle and then like put a slash there and think of some other theme that you want to sort of like tie into it. So just sort of like, so you've got, you're meshing two things together. So it's not just the generic cast. Yeah. And that's what helped me with mine. Cause I was like, how do I make this frosty cold and fit Yeti right. land? And then that cross theme actually made it look pretty okay. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. And then my next bit of feedback for you would be your path works. It's, you know, it looks just a little bit random and squishy. I feel like it could use a little bit more custom supports and integration. It just, it, it feels like you're going on ham with the paths but uh they're not very clean but that's from the top by perspective as well i think when we were actually walking the pathways and we we're gr on ground foot i was like okay this is a little bit better right so at least yeah, it's yeah. pretty good from the ground perspective and you did try to do some custom fences and you got your benches and bins and garden work around and lanterns so i, I, I definitely think you spruce it up but it th there's definitely room for improvement there and they've got some fun uh you know terrain elevation you know you don't feel like it's just a, a flat park this there's lots of different elevation going on here we're going up and down but yeah we didn't even know this existed until the end there i didn't mm -hmm. realize that so yeah good good elevation and for a like uh forest theme i think you went and did something a little bit different it's not just pinewood resort it's robin hood and it has all that playful stuff and using the canopies and different things and fun little builds with the wood and castles and it has a good variety so it's it's not just you know pinewood express it's different and it's fun it's playful so you went with a the theme and you pulled it off so i like the creativity there absolutely boom okay so there you guys go what did you think leave your comments down below for paulo cartman on the legend of robin hood i'm sure you'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and so would we and that's going to do it for us in today's episode of contest spotlight park spotlight thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye now say for oh bye now